health coach. My business is Beautiful Food Coaching, and I'm also the creator of Supernatural Lips, the best natural lipstick ever created. And we're here today with my friend and client, Carol Ann, and we're gonna answer a question that was asked to me last week at a live event from Jennifer. And she wanted to know what could she put onto her skin that would be natural and healthy. The avocado. And this is a really healthy food to eat. And you can do that in lots of simple ways. A lot of people know guacamole. You can put avocado in smoothies. You can make a dressing from it. But today we're going to be specifically focusing on Jennifer's question. And we're going to show you three ways to do that. And we're going to start by preparing our skin and doing an exfoliation. And then we're going to show some ways to moisturize the skin using avocado and avocado oil. And then we're going to show you how you can use avocado as a makeup remover if you wear makeup. And these treatments are designed to be more of an evening, nighttime skincare routine. And you're going to really get the benefits of the vitamins A, D, and E in the avocado. And they're going to really absorb into your skin and be really nourishing and really moisturizing. But in addition, just to, so that you know about avocados, they are a healthy fat and oil. Um, they're known to lower cholesterol when you eat them. And they are also really good topically on the skin if you do have any kind of eczema or psoriasis. So there's lots of benefits to avocado. Oh yes, Caroline is wearing the magical color of Supernatural Lipstick. So, um, and I love it. Yeah, it feels really good. good. This has avocado in it. It does it? have avocado oil in it. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. It feels really nice. Yeah, which is very nourishing mm -hmm. and moisturizing for the um, lips. If you notice the seed in the avocado, I actually take those out and dry them. And when I've collected enough dried avocado pits, I put them in a blender and it makes this beautiful bright orange um, fine powder that you can then use as an exfoliator. But if that seems like too much work for you and you don't really want to deal with that, then as an alternative, you could also use some cornmeal as an exfoliator. And this is very easy to find in the grocery store and inexpensive also. So this is cornmeal. So you could use that as an option for your exfoliator. Or you could also use a little bit of sea salt if you didn't want to go to the effort of doing the avocado pits. <laughs> So we're going to put these in the blender now. <laughs> okay, so we're back making our exfoliator. And one little tip is that when you put the avocado pits in the blender, always make sure you put the lid on so you don't get that explosion. <laughs> avocado oil which is a extracted oil from the flesh of an avocado and we're going to mix the ground up avocado pit with some avocado oil. We're going to mix that together. How does that feel? It feels really good. It's very emollient and, and I can feel the um, avocado pit. It's a really good exfoliator. Yeah so you can feel that working there and yes. sloughing off the skin. Absolutely. Great. That's great. So you can continue and do that all around your face and your neck. You can even do that, use that on your body as well. Oh, it feels really soft. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Good. The next stage is now we've washed our skin, exfoliated our skin, now we can moisturize our skin. And there's a couple of ways of doing that with avocado. One way is if you tend to have um, more of an oily skin and you don't necessarily want to put more oil onto your skin, then you can take the actual flesh of the avocado and just rub that directly onto your skin. And we'll have Caroline do this on her face as well. Um, but you can do this on other parts of your body. And like I said before, if you do have eczema or psoriasis, you can put this directly onto your skin and it will help heal that too. So this is almost like a moisturizing cream. Oh, it feels really nice. And then since we're recommending this as a nighttime routine, you can um, just press that into your skin like Caroline's doing, and then you could leave that on overnight, and it's going to really absorb into your skin and moisturize. It feels nice. Yeah? Really okay. nice. Good. And then the other option that we talked about is the avocado oil. 
And so we're going to put this on the other side of Caroline's face, um, just so you can see the, and she can feel the difference. And I'm going to have you put some of that on, Caroline. Okay. And let us know how that feels. Oh, this is nice too. Mm. If your skin is a little bit drier, yeah. I can right now, it's feeling a little dry right here. Mm -hmm. It really does feel nice. It's very emollient. Yeah. Mm. Right. I love it doesn't it. smell like anything either. <clears throat> yeah, I think the good thing about this is they don't have really strong odors, so that you know some people could be put off by that. Mm -hmm. But then if you if you did like to add some essential oils to this, you could. If you wanted to have like say some lavender or something for the evening, you could mm -hmm. you could add a couple oh. drops of essential oil nice. and add to your experience that way. Too. Uh, the other thing that we wanted to share with you is if you do wear makeup, um, oils, um, any oil actually is good for removing makeup. So we just wanted to show you how to do that as well. So we're going to have Caroline put some eyeliner on and then we're going to show you how you can easily remove that with the oil. I'm going to put it down here so you can really see it. Yeah, so we're going to exaggerate this so that you can see it in the video. Caroline doesn't usually wear that much eyeliner, <laughs> but um, for the purposes of the video we want you to be able to see. And I'm just going to Two swipes and it's gone. And does it work also with the avocado? Yes, so um, we also just did an experiment because we had that question for ourselves. I've never, I've used the oil before but not the flesh for makeup remover. So we just want to show you okay. how you can also use the avocado flesh as a makeup remover too. I don't think it comes off as quite so easily with the flesh but it does come off and then you can just take the rest off with a face cloth or a cotton ball. Okay. Very nice. Feels good. And this is great for travel too. If you're traveling and um, you forgot your makeup remover then you could just get an avocado or get some avocado oil. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention is if you're not familiar with avocado oil you can find this in the grocery store. It isn't the cheapest oil, but it's great for um, salad dressings. It's a really healthy natural oil. And um, as you see, it's also great for skincare. And if you compare it to what you're currently spending on skincare, you might find that it's actually less expensive than what you're currently using. So don't be put off by not trying avocado oil because it is a great oil. And I think when you, once you've tried it, you'll really like it if you've never tried it before. And thank you, Jennifer, for asking the question. It's always great to be able to give you answers to your questions and if you have an answer a question that you'd like answered you can connect with me at beautifulfoodcoaching.com and also at supernaturallips.com which is the natural lipstick website and also you can leave a comment below this video and we will get back to you so i hope you like this video and again thank you caroline for thank helping you, and we look forward to hearing from you soon have a beautiful day